I think he just needs to uh, frame that, hang it on his wall. Thanks to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. Thanks. It's morning time. It's trying to snow outside right now, so we brought this old girl in. It's time to winterize. We're putting the full doors back on it. We're putting the top back on it. But I need your guys' help. These are my wing windows. They're called bug catcher windows. I know some of you guys out there have got to know where to get these. I've tried Spectre already. That's a no-go. They don't have them. Cruiser Corp won't answer the phone. I can't find them on their website. But if any of you guys know of a good place to buy some rubbers for bug catcher wing windows, put it in the comments. Please let me know. Just put this on here. Yeah, same as it was, but it's been a minute. Set it down on there. Okay. All right, tops off. Might have to just set a tripod up, Hunter. We're Dang talking. it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need your assistance. <laughs> All right, hop up inside of there. I'll toss it up to you and then we'll go up on. Okay. Bolt, we'll bolt it. Get a bolt through here and here. Well, and then bolt is it? just a little tapered head, 10 millimeter. I think it looks way cooler with the top on it. I like it better. I'm struggling here. Here, you go sideways with it. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, that's close. Ooh, don't break that window. <laughs> We're practicing front windows, we're good. All right. Top's on. Now for doors. Then we can vacuum her out. She's ready for winter wheeling. I gotta make this thing still. Get that knob done. I got all winter. We got a torque converter we gotta do. All kinds Two of parts. Stuff. Yeah. Two parts. That door down right there. That door came flying off. I gotta check all the bolts on that. <laughs> Better hold of that. It went woohoo! Okay. Yeah, too bad you don't have a roll bar and cage for the back people. We'll just eliminate the back people. They can't go anymore. How do you feel about that, Hunter? I, I didn't want to anyways. You're always in the back. How do you feel yep. about that? I didn't want to go with you anyways. That's all right. All right, that's it. I'll remember this time and not drop this door. One of these days, I'm gonna make some quick pin hinges for this. I got tow trucks to build right now, so. Gotta have that on there. What do you think, Hunter? I like Good. it. Good? Yep. Keep the other side, she's fab ratted. Gaskets on these doors will be right up down. Alright, bring on the snow. So Frank, yep, Frank sent us some pretty cool stuff. Clamps. Go around a roll cage to mount stuff to it. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Hunter's having some trouble evidently getting his oil filter off his truck. He's poked holes in it. He's caused problems. So we're going to try out the new rollback. Go get it. I'm a terrible cameraman. Oh, yeah. It's Hunter's yeah. job. I was in but the cab I got it loaded. So we'll go change an oil filter on your ride. It's horrible. Yeah, I'm I'm imagining. It's, it's bad. From the pictures I've seen, it's not good. We'll show you when we get to the shop. You get in it, leave it in park, 
we'll unhook the winch, we'll get it all tipped up, and you can just coast it in. Perfect. Dars can oh. Here you go, Dars. Oh, I can be, be, be the cameraman. Hold on. Just got to get it unhooked. Okay. Let her rip. Can use this broken Who screwdriver. Alright, so we're just gonna use this broken screwdriver. Since it's kind of sharp, and then we can right here at this crimp is a, a strong part, that's where the metal plate is. So we're just gonna take this little guy. If you get it this easy, I swear. Well, you're gonna learn something probably. That thing is tight. The tricky part's to try and do this without ruining the spot where the seal goes. It's moving, but they tightened it all the way. The metal part of the filter's touching the oil pan, so... Yeah, this filter's definitely top five of the worst ones I've seen, though. I'm glad I can be up there with, yeah. with the top. He might finish at a podium the whole time we're down here. Nope. That drive line don't do nothing anyways. Four wheel drive doesn't work. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, I need the actuator or something. This is an 01? Uh 05 actually. 05? Oh, oh, so it's probably got a coder motor. Uh, coder ring code. Better get Ben on that one. It's snow time. It's I time know. for four wheel drive to work. You hit anything fast enough, you'll make it. <laughs> True. He done it up right, huh? Yeah, you get this. Good job, Hunter. Thank you. Yep. He's getting closer to the top. Well, turned it almost a full turn and it still won't come off by hand. Oh, look at look that. You look at that. There you go. Oh my gosh. Nice stuff. Got her off. Top notch work there. <laughs> I think he just needs to uh, frame that, hang it on his wall. Yeah. See right here where the screwdriver just went through the filter and put that little nick on it. Fortunately, it's not clear out. It's just on the inside. So okay. touch that with a little grinder. Okay. That was a lot easier than laying in the snow and the mud trying to beat Yuck. that off. I think that's the number three worst filter I've ever seen. Right. Number one took you a while then? No, number one took me a better part of a day. Holy cow. Okay, that's it. Put this drive line in and you're ready for oil. You're, yeah, missing, you're missing a bell housing bolt. <laughs> Is that what all this stuff's from, probably? No, it's what we got. Looks like it needs an oil pan gasket on it. Standard stuff for one of these. It's tight. There we go. Okay. You are good to go. Look who that is. Hey! What did you do to this, Hunter? You want to see? Again. That's the... I, that's I don't the know much about parts. That's what you took off your car? Stuff, oh, okay. But... I can tell that that's probably not the way it's supposed no. to work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, just tight. Just teenage driving? No, it was just tight. Right. Chad needs to come more often. I do, actually. We love Chad. I love he fixes here. everything. Chad loves fab too. So. <laughs> that's good. It's a good combo, then. It is. That was bad. So you're just currently like changing the oil, right? Yep. Do you need my help? Because I'm pretty much I, done anyways. I mean, yeah. I'm a professional. I mean, yeah. It's not even moving. <laughs> that, we'll put, don't put that back up on. 
If you want to, I you can too late. you can pour that last one in Dang it. without pouring it all okay, over well, the place. I could have helped you, Hunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. Alrighty. I am done. Alright. We put five of these in. I almost put too much. Luckily he saved me. I only needed five because I put a quart of What's the other stuff called? Mo Lucas. I put Lucas in it. Hey, just throw those anywhere. Oh, don't worry. I'm planning on it. Jeez. It's bouncing everywhere. Boom. So it got the stuff you need in there. It's got the stuff. It's not even black. Yeah. That's what good. Usually when you barely put it in, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Right on the line. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Fire it up and we'll check the tranny while we're here because the motor didn't have any. Why would the tranny have some? <laughs> Burns like a kitty. Oh. It's got oil. It's the wrong color, but it's got oil. Enjoy her while she lasts, Hunter. I will. She will. Getting the money out of her. Yep. $500. Yep. That's how much you paid for this. Like, yeah, three years ago. That's why it's got this little thing in yeah. it. You hit a delineator pole, wiped out the radiator and just the bumper. You put the radiator and bumper in her and right, she's mint. Just keep eating her. So we're building some hose reels right now. Some hose reel holders, basically. I'm tired of all my gas line and vacuum hose just sitting on the floor. Basically, we're still putting the shop back together from, from the rebuild from days ago. I think that was like months ago at this point, Ben. Perfect. Exactly what they should be. Just doing a little milling. Just building a slot for a pipe to set in. One done, now I just gotta do a whole nother board. Get these on it. Pipe sets in there and we're good to go. All right, so basically, Pipe's just gonna set down in there like that. And we'll have rolls of hose all the way across this whole shelf. So let me go make sure I'm gonna make these exactly opposite of each other. Be a good idea. Might have to grind it just barely. Go trim it off just a little. Okay. You gotta cut a piece of that pipe too. That's gonna be pretty good, somewhere right in that range. Square that up, weld that thing in, I'll have your other one built. Okay, that'll do. How was that? <laughs> that was horrible. That was horrible? It was like slow. Well, I didn't want to smack that. Oh, I see. I was trying to gauge it nicely. And then you called it horrible. I can't believe you, Honor. Just like slow motion. Slow motion. Let's burn it in without burning it up, All right? Mm -hmm. Tell me if the oil filter's starting on fire or something, right? Yep. I think that's good. Okay, we just need a pipe now. Let's cut us a pipe. I know where the rest of the pipe is. Not a go-kart. Yeah, probably. Isn't there a piece laying up there on the other side too? I don't know, maybe. Probably. Yeah. I think I know another piece is I'm gonna go hunt. Got it. We did our stuff right. Hot. It's like burning me. It's warm. Hot. Next to burn these. Let me get a hammer. You can fix anything with the green hammer. I think we're good. Oh, I weld it in. Fit it in? I think so. Are we gonna compare? I think we should. I'll weld this other side, and then you can compare them. You be the judge, Hunter. All right, I need a flashlight. 
You're in a competition and you didn't even know it. Oh man. I don't know. Did I go up a little? <laughs> no. Dang! <laughs> All right, you guys be the judge. Comment below and tell us if my welds are better or Ben's welds are better. That's what, that's what we envision. So, there we go. They're on. I got some more rolls of vacuum hose coming. We'll put on the front right there and she'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Hey Paul, yep. you ever thought about being a king or a lord? Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Lucky for you guys, established titles can help you out. All right, are you ready? Whoa, what happened? Let me present to you Lord Paul Cox and Lord Ben Cox. Established titles is a fun way to preserve the woodlands of Scotland. It's a project based on historic Scottish custom. Woo! We got it! <laughs> Where landowners are referred to as lords. Each lord or lady title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land in Scotland and an official lord or lady certificate. But you gotta buy your own cape. With every order, established title, plants one tree. I'll be known as Lord Paul Cox from now on. And you can add it to your credit card, because it's official. What's really cool is the first 200 people that purchase a title pack using my promo code will be next to my plot. We can build our own little kingdom. Lucky for you guys, Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. This is a perfect opportunity to snag that last minute gift for the person that you love. Head to EstablishedTitles.com slash FabRats and use promo code FabRats to get 10% off. So if you want to become a king like Lord Paul Cox and Lord Ben Cox, head over to Established Titles now. How did he get a cool uniform and I got a cape? Dude, but it's shiny. It's gonna fit. You just hold on, man. <laughs> Fat guy in a little coat.